Hey guys, today I just wanted to share with you an absolutely amazing free resource. Like, I can't believe this thing is free. And if you're building websites for clients, it's definitely something you're gonna wanna implement. So we'll go through exactly what this resource is, how you can get it, how you can actually make some money with it, and exactly how I'm implementing it inside of my agency. So whether you realize it or not, when you build a website for a client and you include something as simple as a contact form or Google Analytics, you might be obligating your client to comply with privacy laws without them even knowing it. And it's really important to talk to your clients about this, no matter if they're really big or really small, because no matter the size of a company, they're probably gonna have to comply with these laws. And not only does not having the correct policies in place put your customer at risk, but you could be at risk for deciding to add features to their website that require legal compliance. So this free resource is a website policies waiver form, and it's provided by Termageddon. And it helps protect you, it helps protect your clients, and it's definitely something you should think about getting acknowledged and signed off on with every project. So let's take a look at it. If you go to the link inside the description, you'll be taking to the Termageddon website where you can download this waiver policy. And they give this to you in a Google Doc form that you can go in and customize if you need to. There's not a whole lot of customization that needs to be done, but you can go in there and make changes if you need to. Now, of course, because Termageddon is a privacy policy generator, uh, they're recommending their services within this document. And that comes down here on this page where it talks about how you can obtain website policies. Now, you don't have to use Termageddon to use this website policies waiver, although I use Termageddon. I think it's a fantastic solution. Uh, it's the best that I've seen on the market, and it's a whole lot cheaper than hiring an attorney to write all these policies for you. Uh, but if you wanted to change this out to whatever your recommendations are, you could definitely do that. But if you haven't checked out Termageddon, I think that's probably the place to be. And then it gives your client the uh, four options on how they can move forward. And this is really important because you're providing them this information, having them acknowledge that they received it, and then giving them the steps they can take moving forward uh, that range between uh, them doing nothing and just agreeing that you showed them the information and it kind of uh, takes you out from being responsible for this all the way up to helping them get all their policies set up and make some extra money off of this. So let's talk a little bit about what this looks like. And so what I've done is I've gone ahead and set up this website policies waiver inside of Better Proposals. Better Proposals is what I use to send out all my proposals to clients and I've separated this from the main website proposal uh, so I can make sure that clients get this information and have it completely separate where they can focus on this and make sure they understand exactly what they're agreeing to. Sometimes when everything's bundled into one big contract, it makes it simpler because there's one thing to sign, but I think this is important enough to be its own standalone product. So for me, I've set this up with better proposals using my own template where you can see I've used my colors and my logo and all that. And this is exactly what your client would see once they click the link to view this proposal. So we're going to click this and open it. And you'll see what I've done here is I've just basically taken this Word document and reformatted it inside the better proposal system. So I've broke it up to several different pages so they can go through this information. This first page goes over the importance of website policies and explains briefly kind of what the different policies are. On the next few pages, we go into more detail about what a privacy policy is, what terms of service are with some examples, and then whether or not they might need a disclaimer on their website. And this asks them a few little questions that give them an idea whether they need it or not. On this page, it's gonna go over how they can protect their business. So this is the part where we talk about either being able to hire an attorney that's going to uh, write these policies for you and then constantly keep them updated. Now, this is where it gets really expensive. This is probably not the best option unless you you're dealing with a really, really large company. Because first of all, you'd have to hire a privacy attorney that understands all these laws to write all these policies. And then you'd have to keep them on the books to keep all these policies updated as time goes on. I got an email from Termageddon this morning that says there's something like 28 new privacy laws that are being discussed in different states right now, just in the United States alone. So every time those laws get changed, your policies might need to be updated. The benefit to Termageddon is they're watching all these things and updating policies for you automatically, so you don't have to go back to an attorney every time. So this basically explains to them those two options. They can go hire an attorney, or they can sign up for my recommendation, which is Termageddon. 
And then the last page is where they're going to agree and sign. So this is going to make sure that they acknowledge that you presented them with this information and that they understand exactly what they're responsible for. And then it gives them four options down here. So the options that I want them to choose from are one, they can provide me with their own policies and I'll implement them on their website. I charge $100 to do that. Option two is they can have me help them set up their Termageddon policies. So I'll set them up with a license under my account that they can access as well. We'll go through all the questionnaires and get them onboarded and, and develop their policies. So I will charge them that license fee, which I get a discount on as a agency partner with Termageddon. And then I get to mark that up some plus charge them the money to implement these on their website. Option three is you could just pass them off directly to Termageddon. So you can just tell them Termageddon is what you recommend. Here's how you can get in contact with them. If you'd like, you can get an affiliate link for Termageddon and send them that. And then Termageddon will actually onboard them and get them set up with their policies. And then you just charge them to implement those on their website. And then option four is for the customers that understand they they need to do all these things but don't want to do anything about it and this is really just to cover your butt and say hey I, I i gave you all this information and you're deciding not to do it so at least they're having to select hey uh, i know that i'm supposed to be compliant but i'm choosing not to be and finally they get to sign it down here so by collecting all this information from clients every time i start a new website project i'm helping protect myself and protect my clients and actually making a few dollars extra uh, while doing it. Now you'll notice on the page to Termageddon where you can download this policy, there's an email template that you can use. Where, so they've pre-written an email template you can use when you're launching a website. And they've also included an email template that you can send out to past clients or clients that are on your care plan or maintenance plan. So when I started first using Termageddon, this is exactly what I did is I reached back out to all my past clients and said, hey, this is something that I'm implementing going forward. It's something that your website probably needs and I wanted to make sure to provide you with all this information. So I got a lot of clients to sign up just based on that email, people that I had previously worked with. And not only did they sign up, they were thankful that I was looking out for them, you know, ongoing and into the future. So it was a nice way to make a little extra money. Each year, these, these licenses have to be renewed. So you make that recurring revenue on it as well. Now, if you go to Termageddon and sign up as an agency partner, you have two options. You can either sign up as an agency partner and get a discount on all your licenses. So you get a certain percentage off and then you can resell them at retail value and collect that difference. The other option is to sign up as an affiliate and that way you just get a commission off every time somebody signs up, but you don't have to be the middleman between your client and Termageddon. They can work with Termageddon directly. So I definitely think everybody should check this out and make sure they're implementing some kind of system like this to make sure they're protecting their agency and helping to protect their clients. This is really a win-win for everybody. Not only are your clients protected, you're protected, but also visitors to their website understand what you're doing with their information. And as we are all visitors of websites on the internet, that's definitely important. So if you have any questions, I've been working with Termageddon for a long time. I would be happy to answer those, or you can jump in our community at theadminbar.com forward slash group. And both the founders of Termageddon are in there and they'll be happy to answer your questions as well. Hopefully this is helpful and we'll catch you guys on the next one.